Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at my Dell Performance Review. I have a whole other episode about the features and functions of the Dell Precision 77 uh, mobile workstation that I use for my tutorials now. This is my newest computer and it's a screaming fast system with a lot of features. So I'll link to that in the description. This is more about performance and I'm just going to show you the performance of this system. So uh, you're gonna compare it to if you're doing the same kinds of things. I've got a 4K timeline that I'm going to export out as ProRes and as H.264. There's an After Effects project that you can download that is made for performance. It will bring any system to a crawl. It's not meant for real-time playback. It's meant for exporting, which would show you the CPU and any GPU uh, accelerated effects. I'm also gonna show you uh, some results of some benchmark software. So first up, let's go to Premiere Pro. This is the latest update, version 24, and it is um, showing you, like I said, a 4K timeline playback. And it's like butter. I mean, you just hit play, and this is playing at full resolution um, from my internal SSDs and titles. Um, I've got a lower third, all of this composited, and you can show it's just playing back like butter. Um, when I scrub the timeline, you can see it's just absolutely performing. Now, this is also using the latest update in Premiere Pro, which has a timeline performance update too. And I've got a separate tutorial on that. That's really powerful. So all of this comes together and gives you an amazing system. So anytime you're running video, it's CPU, GPU, RAM, and disk speed. All of those things, all four. And a lot of times I will see someone ask, well, which one is best for performance? There is no which one. All four are tied together to give you the best performance, and that's what I have here. Amazing performance. I have four internal SSDs running on this system. Amazing. So let's export this out as H.264, which is going to use the internal GPU, and in this system, it's an RTX A5500. It is a screaming fast GPU. So let's just go over to the quick export here. And I'll use the high quality uh, HD. This is the H.264 uh, version of this. And let's export this out. So this is a 60 second spot. And I'll export that out. And we'll see how fast this is. It's telling us well, less than a minute. This is a, a one minute, um, it's a 60 second spot. And you can see this is 4K export um, going out as HD. So this is crunching it down to a typical HD. I'll do a 4K output in a second, but there you can see how fast that is. So now let's go right to export. And this time, We'll leave it as H.264, but we'll match the source. So now we're going out at 38, uh, 40, 2160 Ultra HD. So there's our output right there. And again, I think this is going to be uh, quite fast. So we'll leave the name. Uh, let's call this one 4K and hit export. And there we go. I don't think it's much of a difference between the 4K and the HD. It is just exporting at screaming speeds here. And um, all of the clips are ProRes uh, 422 clips. So they're all very high quality clips. And there you go, export. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go out to um, QuickTime with a very high quality. Let's do uh, 422 HQ, I think. Let's try that. So down to QuickTime. Um, and well, let's go into our video settings 
and really crank it up. Let's go to 4444 4, 4, 4, and matching the source of all of that. So again, it's the same uh, 4K, but we're going to go out as uh, QuickTime. Apple ProRes 44444. 4, 4, 4. Okay, export. Here we go. Again, not much of a difference in speed. It's still pretty darn fast exporting out. So taking a little bit longer, it's writing out a very large file, but uh, still pretty darn fast. And there we go. So let's go look at that folder. So they there that's Hundred and fifty one hundred and forty. So there's the HD. That's the 4K, and that is the uh, QuickTime 4444. And you can see it's uh, 7.29 gigabytes, and uh, plays back. Now I am playing this back through a player on the desktop uh, while I am recording the screen at HD resolution. So everything is playing back just nicely. If we go to the uh, Everything looks good. So there you see it. You're not really, there's no compromises to this system. It, uh, it feels like a desktop system. It reacts like a desktop system. The uh, Precision 7770 is just lightning fast and you combine that with the updates from Adobe and it's amazing. So let's go and have a look at that uh, After Effects project that's really gonna crunch things down. All right, first thing for playback, this won't affect the uh, export, but when you load this up, it's playing back at half uh, resolution. There is a lot of motion blur and quite a few layers and nested comps and lots of stuff to really choke the system. If we uh, expand this, have a look at how many things are going on in here. And lots of these are comps themselves. So th like I said, this was built for performance. This is built, built to just choke the system uh, as, as best it can. So I'm going to leave it alone because you can see over here, it's starting to uh, pre-render that. Um, anytime in After Effects, when you don't touch it, it will start to pre-render in the background. And as soon as you touch the playhead or do anything in After Effects, it stops while you're doing that. So I'm going to purge that because I don't want that to uh, influence the export. Now let's send this to the um, render queue. And we'll just leave it on H.264 all the same settings. We'll go to the same exports. And render. And we'll see how much, we'll see how long this takes to render. It starts out pretty quick, but now it's going to get into the really difficult um, compositing with lots of effects some accelerated, some not, a lot of blurs, motion blur. So I'll have a link in the description. You can load this same project and you can do a test and compare it to the 7770 on how fast or slow it, it is exporting on your system. Um, let's go have a, a quick look at our performance.
and we can see the CPU is 100% using tons of memory and GPU. You can see between the um, internal GPU and the RTX A5500. Now this, the RTX is only going to be used when it's uh, a, a specific compatible effect that's been accelerated. If it's not an accelerated effect, it's going to be using CPU. And we'll come back when that's done. All right, we got six and a half minutes now. Almost done, finished up, and boom. So just over uh, six and a half minutes to export out that piece. Um, like I said, try that out on your system and see what the results are. I think that's pretty darn fast for something that's intended to show performance. Now let's go look at a couple of benchmarks. So this is using Geekbench results. So testing the Dell Precision 7770 against the Mac Studio, the 2023 version and the CPU results from the Geekbench tests for the 7770 were 2436 and the Mac Studio 2800. So very comparable to a high-end desktop system. The GPU is just crazy though. The RTX A5500 came in at 130 to 19 compared to 128 for 29. So huge results. Uh, there for something that is, like I said, comparable to a desktop system. Um, it's just, it's scary amazing. Now here's the Cinebench uh, results. This is the multi-core result. And then the single core result. So there you go, there's a little bit of a performance review. I'm not really one of those uh, beanie wearing nerds that, that have giant graphs and all that stuff. The bottom line is the performance and how it feels and works in my workflow and it works like butter. I mean, it's just so wicked fast having four SSDs, having um, you know a 10 bit high dynamic range display, lots of RAM, and uh, just a great configuration. It's just an amazing system. Not something that I would do email with on a plane, but that's not really what the uh, 7770's forte is. It is about performance. It's about a, a desktop uh, class system in a mobile workstation. Thank you very much to Dell and thanks to uh, Trey at Dell for helping me out on, on some of the benchmarking. Um, and uh, we really do appreciate the help uh, we get from our folks at Dell. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We love our wonderful donors. Go to the videorevealed.com website. There's lots of free stuff to download. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description for you to download that After Effects project and uh, watch it make your system go to a crawl. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get all excited about my new toys and then show you how well they perform.